Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to build this 5-day weather forecast in React.js using SVG tags. So let's assume today is Sunday and it's 9.37 a.m. Uh, today is 65 Fahrenheit outside. The wind is blowing with uh, 14 miles per hour from east. You see this red marker, it's showing from which direction the wind is blowing. And then below the wind, we have the ocean uh, water temperature, which is 40 Fahrenheit. And then the next, next we have the next upcoming days, four days here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and including Sunday, that's five days. And then here we have this line here. Uh, this line is uh, showing how the um, temperature is going to change. So, for example, where is the yellowish? This means that here is going to be warm, and then if the temperature is going to um, lower then it's gonna get cold so we change the color a little bit here which means like this bluish color that means it's gonna get cold and then it's gonna get warmer again starting from Wednesday and then Thursday is gonna be warm all day all this data is being hard-coded I'm not using any APIs or anything like that uh, the reason for this video is just to, to show you an example of how you can use SVG tags uh, to build graphics and, and things like like the one you see right now on the screen. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description from where you can grab the source code. Uh, I'm going to write everything from scratch, so if you want to follow along with me, you're more than welcome. And that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to stop my current server. And I'm going to create a new React.js app. I will name it just weather for this example. Oh, I should I should use npx. Sorry about that, guys. So this is gonna take a while, and I'm just gonna pause the video and I'll uh, replay it whenever it's done. All right, so it's done. Now let me see where is the app. So let's open the folder. And I'm gonna open my VS Code in this folder. All right, and the first thing I want to do here is uh, I'm just gonna go to public index.html and I'm gonna clear up some comments from here. You don't have to do that, I'm just doing it just because, um, just to clean up my code. And I'm going to change the title, so I, I I'll say here weather forecast. I will save the file, I will close it. Um, I'm going to open my terminal in the VS Code. There is a terminal tab, and then click New Terminal, and I will start my local local host. And it's going to take a while too because my my computer is kind of slow. Meanwhile, um, I have two files here. The first one is the marker and the second one is winds. You can find these files in the repository. There's going to be a link in the description for, where you can, for the source code. So I'm going to copy these files. <clears throat> and I'm going to create a new folder. Let's see, this open a new tab. Okay, so this is my app. So I was saying that I want, I'm going to copy these files and I'm going to go to my folder, HD Docs, uh, Weather, in the source folder. I'm going to create another folder and I will name it uh, Assets. And I'm going to paste these two files over here. And then for my VS code from the source. Uh, I can see this folder here, so everything is fine. Now I'm gonna open my app.js file. I'll remove everything I have in the div class name app, and I'll remove the logo from here. Uh, I will save it, and then I will remove everything I have in my app CSS except the app class, like this. And 
in my app.js here I'm gonna start with a uh, an SVG an SVG tag because that's the way uh, we have to start this should be a main SVG tag where we will uh, have our graphics so here's gonna be SVG and we should um, give it, give it some um, there are gonna be some attributes and parameters but the first one is gonna be an ID <clears throat> So the ID is going to be main widget. And then we have width. Oops. Width is going to be 794. And then height. The height is 200 pixels. And then the position of X is going to be zero and y the same and then next we have the xml and s x link so we have xml xml and s x link so here we will put the url to the w3.org we have http www.w3.org slash 200 2000 slash svg <clears throat> and then next one is going to be xlink href so we have xlink href the following way and then here we have the same is going to be the same link so we will have http www on w3 dot work slash 1999 slash excellent okay so we need that for uh, codification okay, so let me just uh, clean up my code a little bit here okay so and then close make sure you close the SVG tag and now here in your SVG we can start uh, with a G tag which means it's a it's an SVG group tags so if we go if we search in, on Google for uh, G SVG tag G SVG tag on developer.mozilla.org um, you can find a lot of documentation so the G SVG element is a container used to group other SVG elements so it's kind of like a div class um, or something like that <clears throat> and here we will use uh, um, a tag called rect and this tag is also let's search so you can see rect svg um, here okay so the rect element is a basic svg shape that draws uh, rectangles defined by their position width and height so we have the rect and then the position is x so the x you know that x and y that x so it's going to be x zero and y it's going to be zero as well we'll start from initial point and then we have the width 158 because I'm, I'm i'm trying so what i'm building right now is the first for the first day for that uh, for the current um, current day uh, current the data for the current date so we have rec actually here we could do something um, let's just write this tag and so we have width 158 because it's going to be 158 pixels width and the height it's going to be 200 pixels and then we will have a class name and the class name is going, is going to be a left uh, rect like this and then we close the rect because it's JSX we have to do that um, but below here I forgot to mention another G tag with, with a um, class name uh, current weather like this and I have to close it here all right and then below here we will have another 
Um, so let's see what we get. We get first from this one. Let's copy this left re uh, rack and let's create a class for that. We will add some styling for it. So um, uh, we should also add some styling for our main widget, which is an ID. So we will have here main widget, and here is going to have a display table and margin 50 pixels out of and zero so we want to center the, the entire block and then here in the left rack we will have fill we will fill with blue color and then the fill opacity is going to be 0 0.1 All right, let's save it. Let's save all these files. Let's go back and see what we have. So we have the first rectangle here. It's blue, but with an opacity, it shows like like this kind of blue blurry. Um, now we want to add the um, we want to add here another uh, rectangle, which is going to have today's date. If you remember, it's going to be Sunday at nine something um, a.m. And to do that, we should create another rectangle. So we have rect and x is 0 and the y is 0 um, we got here to do that and then here we have another class name and the class name is going to be the current current date current date make sure you close the tag um, so let's add some CSS for the current date. I'm going to copy this class. I'll paste it here. And the current date is going to get a fill. Uh, we'll add some color RGB. And here we'll have 0, 0, 0. And then we'll divide that by 52%. 52%. And then below here we want to add the text but before we do that let's save it let's see what we've got, we've got here so it doesn't show anything yet no it doesn't show anything just because we didn't put the width and height so the width is going to be 158 and the height it's going to be 30 and now we see that this rectangle is showing up here okay now we should add a text to add a text we should use the um, and separate tag which is text tag so we have text text and the x is um let's do it 20 pixels that's that's going to be from from left to right because we want to center it a little bit and then the Y this is from the top that's going to be 21 and then there's going to be a class name of course current date text and here we will have let's say Sunday uh, Sunday at was there I, I think it was 9 37 or something like that am all right let's uh, let's create the CSS class for this class and the current date here we will add uh, we will center the text so we have text align center and then we have the fill white this is going to be the text color and then the font size, uh, 13 pixels. Oh, yeah, 13 pixel. Let's save it. Let's go back and see that we have this stuff here. So you can also inspect, actually, you can inspect and see and play around with this uh, coordinates because, for example, X. So if we put here just 10, you can see the text is going to go to the left. I already have the, the coordinates, the correct coordinates for, the, for, the, for this size, so I don't have to play around with that. But whenever you build it if you build something different then uh, you have to you can inspect it and just play around like that okay the next tag is going to be another rectangle for the whole um, for the temperature 
um, and then we will have another text. So let's do that. We will have here uh, react and temperature. Let's see, we get react. Okay, the x is going to be zero. The y is going to be zero. Um, width is going to be 158. And the height is going to be Hmm, 35 and the class name is going to be current temp like this and then we will add text we'll have a text tag so the text tag is going to be x um, see let me see. x from left is going to be 60 y this is from the top this is going to be 55 and there's going to be a class name and the class name is current temp, temp text like this and then the text is going to be 65 and the Fahrenheit's um, code and HTML code is and dash 84 57 semicolon like this and now let's create the class for the current temp in the CSS file like this uh, current temp so here we will have a field of blue and we'll have a field opacity on uh, field opacity 0.5 and there's going to be, we have another class for the text, which is the current temp text. So we have this here, current temp text, and the text align uh, center. And then we have the fill, and it's going to be white. Um, then the font size, font size is going to be 19 pixel. And then we have the font weight, uh, font weight gonna be bold like this so let's save it and let's see what we've got here <clears throat> well there's something wrong here we probably messed up here the Y but okay, the Y it's not zero um, current time the Y it needs to be 30 sorry about that guys that's from the top so we see here that we, we change the position a little bit so here we have the temperature Okay, the next, uh, next step is to create um, the block for the wind, where we show the wind direction, wind speed. So we have to create a rectangle. So we have rectangle, and then here we have x, it's going to be 0, y, it's going to be 65, uh, width, the width is going to be 158. The height is going to be a hundred, and there's gonna be a class name which is gonna say current wind. All right, and then here we will have an image. You remember that image from uh, our assets folder, which is the winds.png. This is the image. Uh, I want to import it in my app.js file. So here below I import my app CSS file. We import, I'll say, import wind img from assets slash uh, winds.png. And I'm going to import the second one. Uh, to have it in my app as well, so it's going to be marker.png. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing here. I will say marker, and here is going to be marker.png. All right, so now here where is the wind? Uh, if you want, we can add the CSS, the CSS class, so you can see where exactly this uh, block is going to be. So the wind, uh, current wind we'll fill it with a specific color so we'll have here fill dash going to be 63b 
66 f b3 it's kind of green a green color and then let's save this one as well and let's go back and see how this looks like so we see that this block is green with wind now let's add our image to add our image we should use an image tag so this image tag looks like this image and then there is the image url and to use the image url we should type in there's a specific attribute for that which is x link uh, x link h h ref and here we just put our variable which is win ing like this uh, and then there's the position of course x is going to be 66 and uh, actually x is going to be 30 sorry about that guys and the y is going to be 72 and there is also going to be a width and the width is 102 and the height is uh, 100 all right let's save it let's see what we've got here so we have the image now we have to add the content and and that uh, marker on it so to add the content uh, we have to add a text tag and this text tag actually hmm this is a uh, let's see yeah let's add first the text tag class name there's gonna be a class name uh, current win text like this there's going to be a position x is going to be 66 and y is going to be 125 we close the tag and let's put just 14 here it's going to be like 14 miles per hour and let's save it and we've got 14 here but we should add some styling for this class so let's uh, um, add the class here in our css file current uh, current wind Mm, current wind text so we want to add here text align center and then fill uh, with black it's going to be the, the text is going to be black and the font size is going to be 18 pixels and we have the font weight bold so if we go back this 14 looks better now next step is to um, the next step is to add that marker the one we imported here that red marker which shows the wind direction from from east let's say and to do that we should add another image tag but this time the parameters are going to be a little different we will have a transform parameter and here we will have a rotate We'll have to rotate this image. Uh, rotate. And here we have, let's say, 210. And then we have 135. And then 178. 178. And then the width, uh, 20. And the height is going to be 22. I mean, not 22, but 20 as well. <laughs> and then the position X is going to be 185 and Y uh, 215. And here we shouldn't forget the link to the image. So we have link href and the link is going to be a marker. So we close this tag. Let's save it and let's see what happens. Uh, over here so we see we have this marker here the position is showing that it's from east and you can you can play around with this rotation with these parameters from here so you can play around so you can move that marker if you would like to um, next step is to create the block for the current um, water temperature so we'll have another rectangle um, position is going to be x zero y zero uh, actually no y is going to be 165 sorry about that guys uh y is going to be 165 and then the width the width uh 158 oops 
the height is going to be 35 and we have a class name here and the class name is going to say print water like this and we close the rack uh, let's add the CSS class and the current water is gonna get um, it's gonna have a fill so this fill is like background color and it's going to be dash FF7600 um, FF7600 is gonna be like a, an orange color or something like that and then the fill opacity <clears throat> fill opacity is going to be 0 0.5 and we should also add text over here but let's save it for now and see where we are at so here kind of like here is going uh, should be the our ocean water temperature but for some reason it's not showing yet let's make sure we have everything in place here so we have rect 0165, wind 158, height 35, class, current weather. Um, let's also add the um, uh, text. <coughs> class name is going to be current water text. And the position X is going to be 40. We have Y, which is going to be 189. And we'll just say here water 40 uh, Fahrenheit. But the Fahrenheit, uh, if you remember, this is the tag for the Fahrenheit. So I'm going to copy it and paste it here like this. We have the Fahrenheit, uh, we close this stuff from here. Let's create, uh, let's add the CSS for this class. Current text, um, we want to align the text as we did in the previous one. So we have text, align center. We also have the um, text color, which is dark, black. And the font size is going to be 14 pixels. Like this. Let's save it. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so we see here that the color changed. The color works now. We had to add the text. Uh, if we inspect it, we can see that rectangle has the class current, uh, current water. This is the color. You can play around with this color if you want to. You can put any color you want. I was thinking actually. If you make it dynamically, these colors could change uh, depending on the temperature. For example, if it's going to get hot, it's going to be this color here. So, but you can, you know, just an idea, you can do whatever you, you wish. Okay, so the next step is to create the uh, um, upcoming four days. So we have to create, continue this block kind of. And to do that, we should actually create another we will have another um, <clears throat> here I want to add a border so there's gonna be a white border be between each day and um, so that's what I want to add here so be below uh, after I close the G tag here I'm gonna add another rectangle um, and the position is going to be X 158 y is going to be zero and width is going to be one because i want just to have a, a border of one pixel and the height is going to be 200 200 uh, it's going to be the full height of the block and then the fill i can add the fill like an inline uh, attribute and this one is going to be white all right i have it like this and I also want to add uh, a line here. I want to add another line which is going to say like like a title or some like title line or something which is going to say five day weather forecast. So here below my rack, um, below this line I'm going to create. Let me just clear this up a little bit, just leave some space. So add another G tag, it's going to be another group of tags. 
and here I'm going to have rect I'm gonna add <clears throat> sorry about that guys so x position is going to be 159 because we have to move so here we had 158 the width is 158 uh, from from 0 to 158 that's the size of this block now I'm gonna add the next one from 158 plus plus uh, um, what's that plus 158 um, I'm gonna start it from here so the, the width is going to be 635 I also keep in mind that there's this border here of one pixel so in each pixel is very important in this case okay so we have rec x 150 159 because in 158 is the border so we have 159 and then the y is 0 from top is 0 and then the width the width is 635 and the height is 30 all right and there's going to be a class name and the class name is going to be title line And I'll have, and I'm closing this tag. Okay, and then below here I'm gonna have the text, but let's let's create the CSS. Let's add the CSS class in our CSS file for the title line, and the title line is gonna just get a background color. So there's gonna be fill um, RGB, and we will have here 109, 109, 122. So I'll save it and we're gonna go back and we see this line here and here I'm gonna add the title now which is gonna say um, five day forecast five day weather forecast so let's add we have to add a text tag so we have text uh, we also have a class here so we have a class name and the class name is gonna be current weather text and position is going to be 40 on x and y it's going to be um let's see no 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 not this one <coughs> there's going to be a text there we have a text there but the position has to be a little different the position needs to start from 420 because we want to center this text so we have x 420 um and the y is going to be 20 and the class name it's going to be title line text title line text so here we have our text which is going to say five five day weather forecast like this and now we have to add the CSS for this class. So let's go to our app CSS file. Let's add the CSS for this class. And here we want to center the text as we did on here. And then we want to fill this uh, with white color. The text is going to be white. And then the font size. And the font size we want to make it 13 pixels like this so let's go back and see how it looks like so we have this title over here it's kind of centered but you can play around with this uh, co coordinates if it doesn't center on your on your end um, now the first thing we want to do is to create our blocks we will create our base so the first one is going to be here next to this one <coughs> alright so let's add another g tag um, we will add a G tag. There's going to be a group for each day. So the first one, G over here. And then we will have a rect. And the position, it's going to be 150, 159. It's going to start from left 159. And from top, the Y is going to be 30 because we already have the title here. Uh, next thing is going to be the width. And the width is going to be 158. I don't understand why I'm not putting equal there. 158 and the height is going to be 170 in this case because 
we've got the 30 from here user for the title and then the class name the class name is going to be day block like this all right uh, I'm gonna add the CSS class in my CSS file like this day block is going to have a fill let's say blue and then there's going to be a fill opacity of 0 0.1 now we'll save and I'll go back to see what I have here so this is the first day kind of like the second day which should be is supposed to be Monday and now I want to add the content and to add the content I have to um, add a, another I have to add actually another rectangle where I'm gonna have the day I'm just gonna say Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday so here I'm gonna have another rect tag and this is going to be X is going to be 159 the Y is going to be 30 width width is going to be 158 and the height is going to be 35 35 and there's gonna be a class name of day like this uh, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna add this day later on in the CSS file and now I want to add the text tag so we're gonna text x position 215 and the y is going to be 52 and we will have a width uh, actually the width it's not gonna be here we don't have width we'll have just the class let's add a class to this text and the class is gonna say current date text so we have class name current date text and here let's put Monday like this now let's add the date class in our CSS file and here we want to add uh, we have to add a color so let's put fill hashtag uh, 75 75 75 uh, and then a fill opacity of 0 0.5 so let's say all this stuff let's go back here and then we see that our the Monday is popping up here the date title is here uh, what we want to do now is um, now we want to add all these other days so we, sh we should do the same thing we should add a border we we'll separate by border uh, we should add um, another block so let me copy this let's copy this group and let's paste it below like this and this one here is going to have just different coordinates so the first one Monday had 159 the next one it's going to so here let's copy where we have the border let's copy this stuff from here the width one pixel and let's paste it above right here because we will need to have an, a border between the days. We want to separate them by a board, with a border. Um, so here we'll have this border, and then here we will start from the x is going to be 318, and the y is going to be 30, width 158, height 170, and the class is going to stay the same. X, this x is going to be. 3 uh, 318 you know why 318 because we we um, multiply not multiply but let's say 159 plus 159 because the same size we have to start from where the the second day is ending so it acts from here to here so this is where the second day stop now the position to for the next day is going to start from here it's not going to start from zero and from here the number from there for x is 3, 318 so that's what we have here 318 the y is 30 because we have that title bar and with 158 height is 35 and we leave this class over here and here the text position we change it a little bit is going to be 520 and it's going the y is going to be 52 and here it's going to say Wednesday Wednesday and let's go back and take a look here and Wednesday is kind of too far probably messed up here uh, Wednesday 520x 
um, you know what guys I was looking at my <laughs> I'm, uh, this this should be Tuesday because I have the script ready already and I'm just my eyes are just running uh, too far away so Tuesday uh, here we'll have 374 Tuesday oops 370 why go to 52 so let's save it let's go back now Tuesday showing up here now we should add the Wednesday and the Thursday so let's copy this stuff from here let's paste it below um, the coordinates for Wednesday are going to be 476 okay so this for the border is going to be 476 and for the block is going to be 477 477 uh, the top is going to be like that um, now the type the text here we will have uh, for Wednesday 520 and the Y is going to be 52 and this is going to say Wednesday Wednesday let's see if we add it here Wednesday is here um, you know what this line I don't like this border something is wrong with this border so with that border side 200 this border needs to be uh, we've got 200 this border needs to be 170 because we have this title here and it goes over it. so let's do 170 and here 170 Well, it still doesn't work. Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, before Wednesday, so it's this line here. 476. Oh, okay, so we didn't put the Y, that's why. So th this Y from top needs to be a 30 for the border, like this 30. And the height is 170 because uh, 200 mi minus 30 is 170 okay now it looks good all right so we have for wednesday wednesday now let's add the uh, thursday which is the last day and the thursday the border is going to start at 6 35 uh, y is 30 and then 6 36 here 6 36 6 36 and it's going to be 6 90 for the text to center it thursday Let's save it we go back and we have all four days now we have to add that line over here which is kind of like showing the colors how the temperature is going to be like and stuff like that so to do that we have to add a new uh, linear grad um, well first of all we should add like uh, we should use the symbol uh, symbol tag here so let's add the tag symbol and we have an ID and the ID is going to be hit line all right and then in this symbol make sure you close it. and in this symbol tag we will have an SVG tag and the view box the view box is going to have the following coordinates um, minus 20 0 150 and another parameter is going to be the preserve aspect rate uh, radia uh, uh, so we have reverse aspect radio and here we have none all right like this and then in this SVG we will have a G tag and in this G tag we will have a path here's gonna be the path for this line that's gonna go something like this so the path, I figured the path uh, while I was building this before I recorded the video. So let's use here path uh, D equal to. And now here I'm going to have a few coordinates. And I will, uh, will do a search on Google to see what this D means. So here we have M0, comma, 30, space, V20, space, H100, space, V hyphen, 20 space Q 70 comma 10 
space 50 comma 30 space capital T 0 comma and 30 okay and here we will have a class name and the class name is going to be hit line like this and we will have to close it like this following okay uh, I'm gonna add the CSS class for this um, in the CSS file hit line and then hit line is gonna get a we'll just add like a background color uh, fill but in this background color we will add a um, we will have to add a gra uh, gradient we, will, we didn't add that gradient yet um, so but l let me remove this just to s I want to show you how it looks like for now if, um, well it doesn't have any color for now because we don't have that gradient I can't really show you right now. Let's uh, let's create what are uh, okay. It needs to be view box. Jesus Christ! I misspelled this. Okay, I don't have that error anymore. It just needs to be view box here. Okay, uh, let's add the gradient. So here in the CSS file, I had the fill, and I'm gonna have a URL. And an ID, and the ID, okay, it's gonna be slash ID WS gradient, like this. And this gradient is gonna be in my app.js file, it's gonna be a gradient which is gonna have this ID. So just save this for now, and let's add this uh, gradient, gradient width above our symbol tag here. Um, this uh, gradient I hope I'm not misspelling anything here <laughs> okay so let's say div id headline I will try to paste my correlates here from my script just to make sure everything is fine I'm not misspelling anything so make sure you type everything as it is here. Okay, so let's add the gradient. The gradient um, is going to have a tag, which is going to say linear, linear gradient, and there's going to be the there's going to be coordinates. So we have x1 is going to be zero percent. That's the position. Uh, we have y1 zero percent. We have x2 hundred percent oops hundred percent uh, we have y2 zero uh, percent and then we have the ID and the ID needs to be this one from here so make sure you copy and paste it here like this okay the ID now we want to change the color so the gradient the gradient is gonna change it's gonna add color to our to the line from here so it's gonna be like uh, yellowish from yellowish to blue and then and so on so first thing we want the first thing we want to do we should add a few classes here we will add the classes the CSS classes for the great uh, for the gradient so we will have the first class CL1 the CL1 is going to have the following parameters. There's going to be stop color. And we'll have hashtag 7272FF. And then we have stop opacity. Stop opacity 0 0.6. And we are, we're going to have the same thing for the second class. We have CLT except the color the color is going to be different. The color is going to be, we will have RGB parentheses and here we have T37, uh, 145, and 45, like this. All right, let's save it. Let's save here. Um, 
we don't see the gradient yet because we have to add some tags. Uh, the first tag is to add is from zero. So here we'll have stop offset zero percent and the class name it's going to be CLT like this. Let's see what this is gonna do. This doesn't do anything. That's weird. Okay, let's add another tag. Let's see. Um, uh, offset from 0%. Uh, I'm gonna add another tag here. Let's put here 6%. And the CLT. Let's see. CLT. Let's go back. And for some reason, this doesn't work. I hope I didn't misspell anything here. I didn't do anything wrong. Linear gradient. We have the ID. Uh, the symbol oh you know why because we have to okay we don't have anything here just because we have to use this this uh, um hit line we have to use it now in our svg tag and i forgot to include that so here below our symbol we have to use a tag called use and this use tag needs to have a link to our uh, symbol ID. So here we will have x link h uh, href, and here we have the ID, which is hit line, like this. And then we just we have to close this tag in the following way: slash, and then close it. Okay, so if we go back now, we can see this line showing up here. Um, I, will, I want to remove these two tags just to show you how the line looks like. Oh, it doesn't look like anything. So we, we have to have this. Um, it, this this is the stop offset tag is actually saying that we start the line from the zero, from 0%. Zero from 0% and we use the class name CLT. In our case, CLT has this color. And the stop opacity is 0 0.6. Now from from 0 to 6 percent, that's going to be this, okay? And now from 6 percent to the next one, to the next one, let's say 10 percent here. 10 percent here, and we want to use CL1. So if we go back, we change the color here a little bit. You see, the color is changing. So now we can add more tags here. <clears throat> Uh, let's add another one for 15 percent 15 percent is going to get the cl1 and then after 15 we have 20 percent <clears throat> the 20 percent is going to have cl1 um and i don't know we can put here 50 percent and this one is going to have clg so if we save it and we go back we see that the color is changing here. So using this gradient, this is stop opacity. That's the stop opacity that does this uh, transition from one color to another one. You know, it's kind of like fading. Um, so yeah, um, that's that's all I want I wanted to cover in this video, guys. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for my channel. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and what you think about this video tutorial. Thank you very much for your attention and I'll see you in the next video.